Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 14 and Realm Reborn. I did say we were going to do Hard Tea Lee this time. I also said that we might not, but we ended up doing it. <laughs> I just waited like 30 minutes for this to fucking pop. <coughs> Sorry, uh, I just um, I just came off raid night, so with um, on my main with my actual SC. So here is everybody. Everybody is happy. Um, we should probably put that back to a uh, say and not tell. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Lead the way. As you can see, our hotbar is already um, a lot nicer. I separated it up a little bit to make it uh, more acceptable, if you will. In other words, it's just because I, um, like I said, I just finished off Raid Night. And Raid Night, uh, well, we did T9, so, uh, or Binding Coil of Bahamut Turn 4. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's an endgame raid. And essentially, it's very hard. It's very, very hard. And we spent three and a half, three hours, maybe two and a half hours, failing. Just straight up failing at it. So, there's that. Um, it's very hard. There was eight of us, in eight people dungeon, and it was, it's pretty much just one boss, right? It's like Ifrit, like the Ifrit fight that we saw a couple of um, episodes ago. Might have been one episode ago. Uh... Yeah, actually, I think it was last episode. Just looked at my paper. I think it was last episode. Um, these guys are going to do a, a full clear by the looks of it, which is okay. I don't mind doing a full clear. Because it just gives me enough time. Gives me a bit more time to speak to you guys. To uh, go through the dungeon. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got a Marauder. He's got the gas bomb. That's no good, is it? Let's, uh, let's get his attention. Here we go. And take it away from our heal. That's something that you should probably do, um, especially if you're a bard, actually, because a bard you can always DPS and move. So if a bomb attaches itself to a healer, you should try and get the bomb's attention. And then just think the healer should be able to heal you through it. The tank should come and take it off me. But we can't guarantee that, to be fair. Oh, didn't even to attack him. There we go. He's used self destruct now. And then we can move out and carry on DPSing without any, any problems whatsoever. It's lovely. So yeah, basically our raid night was a bust and uh, people were splitting off into their own little things. So I was like, right, I need to go and start recording. He, he, he lagged a little bit, but it's okay. Should be fine. Uh, you, see that, you see that little mark above the, um, dual, the doctor's head? That means we need him for our hunt lock. Which uh, I'm going to actually quickly show you because we don't, you know. The Immortal Flames Hunt Lock, see? There we go. We're going to get 2,000 seal, 200 seals for this. If we clear this, we've essentially got 2,000 seals, and that's all we need for our Choker Bow. So quite possibly, next part, we could go get it. I have already got a few. Our uh, tank seems to have DC'd. Let's try and get this off of... Um... Oh, uh, he's back. He's alright. It's a bit unfortunate though, he lost um, he lost some attention there, and I imagine he lost where he was as well. Imagine, whenever you come back from a big DC, you're always a bit like, wait, what? Who? What's happening? Oh, he's DC'd again. Oh, there we go. Are you, are you okay? Are you good to keep going? Yeah, maybe? No? Well. Well then. That's quite a lot of lag coming from that person. We're probably going to have to get rid of her at some point, I imagine. Not through rudeness or just plain lag. I just imagine she's going to probably lag out quite hard and not come back. She might come back. Who knows? Oh, at the same, at, see, at the same time, because of her lag, she's quite clearly having, she's quite clearly having lag issues. She's um, not being able to tank effectively. Which is not great. Um, let's try and keep the attention of these uh, imps. Just try and keep it off the heel. Which we are actually failing at. Just trying to keep keep that hate on us rather than the healer so it doesn't get interrupted. 
please don't heal the full health tank. Um, get us. Well, this is um, not a terrific start. Oh, she probably she'd probably do really well if she wasn't lagging so bad. Bless her. <laughs> the dragoon's just like had enough. He's like, fuck it. Is he actually gonna go fuck it? Tut. Who's tutting? Why why are you tutting? The dragoon is just like, whatever, I'm gonna pull. Uh oh, well it's not English, so I don't even know what that is. Um, I'm going to assume French. We can check. Ah. It's D, which I think is German. I think is German. Uh, the German is having some internet problems, which is fine. You know, you can't have everybody having ultimate internet all the fucking time. I sure as hell know I don't. They always seem to come when I'm trying to upload a video or something. It's like, oh, well, now it's time for the internet slowdown. Really? Now it takes twice as long to fucking upload and shit. The uh, healer has hate again. So this is what is technically known as a bad dungeon run. <laughs> this is what you get though, right? Duty finders is duty finders and duty finder. Yeah, I could have, I could have asked, I could have asked for a tank, for a heal, and for a DPS. And we wouldn't have this problem, but that's not probably the way you'll be doing it, or the way I'll be doing it. Because I, I like duty finding; it. it's fine. We just don't need to disturb anybody, stuff like that. It can be really frustrating because you know you get you do get these groups, but then you don't need to bother anybody. The queues can also be rather long. I just waited like 30 minutes for this. Especially this DPS. DPS queues are like really bad. But I had plenty of stuff to keep me going. I was doing a few quests and stuff. Our food has ran out. Um, oh, I brought 99 doo doo omelets, or dodo omelets, if you prefer. Uh, essentially, they give us the stats we need, and it cost me like 2,000 for a lot of them. We'll eat that. Because as, as you can see, our, our money has gone up again. We sold all that materia that I put in, so we've got loads of money. We are absolutely raking it in for our level. Oh, crap. So I don't think there's anything I can really tell you about the three jobs we have that I haven't already covered in previous videos. So that's fine. Key D, I don't know what that means either. Um, I think. I think the tank has got its got there, yeah? Got his stuff together? Good. Lovely. Nope. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Got a little bit too excited there. That's okay. It's okay if I get a little excited from time to time. Everyone's life could do with some excitement. I don't know why I said that so boring. But everyone's life could do with some excitement. <laughs> well, wow. could say a bit more energetic, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Okay, and um, we've got to our very first boss. Hunty Lee is quite quite a quick dungeon. We need this for our hunting log as well. The flame man, the flame money, flame money, or well, whatever. Uh, this this dun this boss is a bit different from the bosses we have been dealing with. Kind of similar to the Satasha one as the Satasha final boss. Dragoon started the uh, fight off there with a, with a break, which didn't help. Oh, I pulled. I appear to have pulled. See, most people will actually expect you to, um, like, later on, if you're, if you're none of you are new, they will expect you to, like, just burn the boss. And by burn, I mean just single handedly attack the boss. But these little guys will spawn. Right now, these guys, they're very, very weak. They're very, very, very weak. But essentially, what is happening here is that when they reach the middle, that flame, they will do like a big AoE. 
and um, AoE, for those of you who don't know, is area of effect. And it will damage the party considerably. But with a with a heal, with a decent heal, or a heal that's not um, new, even even a new healer can possibly handle that damage. He just needs to be expecting it. Right, but we can see we can see from the thing he is over the recommended level for this dungeon because he's level six. So I don't know what level he is at. But the thing of the reason him being like, you know, level 24, 25 doesn't really matter. The thing is he's a conjurer still, you know that from his little icon, he's not a white mage. Now uh, we're taking two doors here, which we shouldn't really be doing. Um, whether or not we're going to be able to... Let's give him poison, and then we'll switch back. Kill that guy. There we go. Done. Lovely. And then the third lot is coming in now. The Lancer... The Lancer is dealing with that one. Okay, that's good. Uh, we could have popped our um, rising spikes actually and got rid of those two. That was a, a little bit of less pressure on me. Um, it's fine. If another set comes, we shouldn't even have to worry about it. We'll destroy, destroy them before they get here. Fine, and that'll be another bunch of seals for us as well. There we go. That's a very first, the very first easy and successful dungeon there. That dungeon, boss. And hey look, and we dinged. And we got that belt. That's no good to us. To be honest with you, it's pretty crap. So we'll pass on that, don't want that. So good to us. And then you need to come here and click on the flame. That's actually a very big thing. A lot of people a lot of people will walk back and not just click on the flame, which takes us here. Because a lot of people will like see, oh look, they're back there, and then start running back. Even even I did it on my first attempt through this dungeon. I like was like what? I didn't realize I had to click on the flame. Uh, here we go. So now we're in a completely different area, and there's there's mantises and pythons, which can be a bit of a danger DPS wise. Um, if the tank is not prepared and the healer is not prepared, they can do some real damage. But nothing. We shouldn't really handle at all for what this dungeon is because look, we're we're all level 23 minimum, so we should be fine. These chains can be anything. It can be a treasure coffer, which is lucky. Contains a potion, and they can be a bombs or they can be free lightning elementals. When we come to here, it's generally good to take care of the pythons first. We did get the trait enhance venomous bite, but we, we then level synced to 23. So unfortunately, we can't use it. So that sucks. That sucks a bit, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Uh, so hard is not that long, really. All we've got to do. I, don't, I keep going, trying to go into my map, but then I realise I've not even got the map unlocked yet. Uh, it's not that long of a dungeon. Even even a full clear is not very long. Because this is probably the longest stretch of the battle, of the uh, boss area. Because we'll run across there. Here is it? No, it's the next bridge. Then I can show you where, where we have to go. But essentially we have to run around there. And then come through here. And then we're at the second boss. And then once we're at the second boss. I think if you're speed running. You can clear like two enemies. And get yourself to the... Um, but to the third and final boss. The Dragoon pulled there, which was very, very dumb, actually. That was a fucking dumbass idea. Uh, that is that is a bad DPS right there. Um, not, not generally he's a bad DPS because he's a bad person. Obviously, he's just got a little bit agitated and decided that he needs, needs to get rid of it. And uh, that can be okay, but the thing is, is that he pulled that. He had no way of keeping the either two. So the second that the, the heal tried to tried to help, he was gonna die. Just a split second, he he tried to help. 
So that was a very dumb move. Quite frankly, you should always let the tank pull. Even if the dungeon's going a little bit too slow for your for your personal liking, just let the tank pull. Let it do its job. Because if you're the first one to pull, so he's pulled again, that's going to make the job a lot harder for the tank to. Um, I think the tank, the heal is just healing the tank. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Um, but basically, down there is where we don't go. See that? See that door there? See that like greenish door? I don't, know. I don't know if you can see that. See, so the tank, the tank is struggling, right? The tank's struggling with an internet connection, quite clearly. And the dragoon's got a little bit, a little bit irate, and not um, and not successfully dealt with stuff. Right, we're gonna attack this python. That's the only one we can be sure that it's hit. And also, it's like the only one you want to really hit. And the Dragoon is actually hitting the wrong target as well, which is pulling it. If you are, if you are, of course, DPSing, always try and attack the tank's target. It makes, makes tanking so much easier. So much easier. And don't get me wrong, I've hit the wrong targets before. I always hit the wrong targets. I don't always check. But do try it. Right, if, at least aim for the one that he picks to start the fight with. That's that that's my tip. To attack the one it starts the fight on. Um, the healer has pulled apparently through that little bit. That's rather unfortunate. Let's try and pull that off of the heal. Right now we're going to stop our DPS because we're going to let the tank try and. Oh, tank is in. There we go. Okay, the tanks. No tanks still right. There we go. The tank got it. No, oh, I pulled it away again. I got too excited. I got too excited. That wasn't good. I can definitely say that the heal is getting the conversation. <laughs> Generally, just because the tank, the tank's unable to shine. Right. Let's face it. At this point, the tank is unable to shine because of his internet problems uh, the dragoon is being a little rude not letting the tank pull which is being incredibly difficult making the tanks job harder sometimes that can be like an earring or something which is what I would have preferred making the tanks job a little bit harder and then there's the heel is just trying to keep everyone alive and has gone down the wrong way and possibly killed us come on heel the let's down here he comes all right I'm actually gonna try and kill this off of the Dragoon real quick so that we can move on to the Python. Hopefully he'll attack the Python. Here we go. We're doing quite well now. Because the thing is, right, in a duty, especially in a duty finder, you've always got to try if you try and adjust yourself to the way other people are playing, you will find the dungeons are a lot easier and you will find yourself a lot happier rather than getting frustrated that they're not doing it the way you want to do it. And if they're not doing things correctly, you can say. And if you're new to a dungeon, you can ask for tips or hints or help if you wish. You can do that. A vial of ether. The Dragoon's just going to go pull again, isn't he? I can tell. Or is he going to try and sneak around and get the chain? Is he going to try and be a sneak? Ah, oh, he's trying to be a sneak. He's got a bomb. Okay. So we're, we're pretty much... We're pretty much... I would say we're pretty much at the end of the dungeon here, really. I mean, we've been in here, what, 20 minutes now? Yeah, we've been in here roughly 20 minutes, I'd say. I can't actually see my timer. I need to get a bigger timer. Because so far I'm going with the timer that's on the recording. Uh, on my PC, which is like the opposite side of the room. So I'm looking at this very tiny number. To like see if I can like know whether or not how long it's been. I think I think that says 20 minutes. Could be wrong. But we should be fine. We should be done before the 30 minute mark. If we speed it. Um, 
There are a few more. There are. There are. <laughs> Sound like a farmer then. A bit weird. They're going that way for some reason. That's not the way you have to go. There's nothing there. So we'll just give them a quick... This is the way that we do have to go, but not right now. So there we go. They've all noticed. Even the level 50. Tisk tisk tisk. <laughs> the dragoon. Oh man, that is bad news. He's to be fair. He's probably not done this, like since he was level 20. So this is an option. Why did you? Why did you pull that? Just let the tank do it. It's his job. This is one job. Just let him do it. Oh, jeez. So ba basically, with this boss, what you want to do is just pull him up here, like like the dragoon did, and keep him on this bit of the area. We're going to fight him on this little ledge because once we get him down to a certain damage interval, he's going to go in and do this. Now, these, you don't necessarily have to let the tank get first. If you can start hitting them whilst they're on the way here, you can do something. Because they're very weak. They're very, very weak and can die quickly. So, it's always nice to get them out of the way if you can. And if we, we might even be able to kill one before it gets here, if we uh, have the right gear. Like, that's how weak they are. Uh, but I see the water, just for demonstration purposes, gives us that, that buff, which electrifies us over time. And does, a, and does um, a damage over time, which is not good. It's not good. As long as you're in there, you're gaining damage, so don't step in. I stepped in there to explain. I didn't have to step in, I could just say don't step in the water, because it hurts you. But no, I felt like I had to show you and jump in, and jump in the electrified water. The Dragoon is going to attempt to limit break again, I assume. Or is he going to wait now? Is he going to wait? Okay. He's a good guy. Like, look at me. He is a good guy, bless him. He's probably fine. He's probably just a bit frustrated with the tanks in there. Do try and be a bit patient with people. You know, it's always good to be patient. It's always nice. Like I said earlier, when someone invites you to the free company, just just send them a tail back saying no thank you. You know, stuff like that. It's it's all about courtesy, man. It's all about courtesy and being being a nice player, building a good community. That's what you that's what's most important, especially about it. Right? Oh this guy's actually a part of the love too. That's good. I didn't actually know that. Here we go, he's dead now. He gives us two chests, which is very good. I thought we leveled up again then. Give us 311 seals, that's also very nice. What is this? This is no good, we don't want this. We, we don't want that. Um, we'll, we'll greed that, because we might be able to sell it. So we'll pass on that one, and we'll greed on that one. We've got a 93, so the heal don't need it. Then that's possibly ours. But the heal might need it. He, he's wearing the, he's wearing the thing you get from a quest at some point. So he probably will need that because that will most likely be better. Plus with that, with that gear you'll be able to um, equip a headpiece. So there's that. Well, someone doesn't want him to have it, <laughs> at least. It's very rude. Also, if you do see loot, try and roll on it as soon as you can. Especially if you're in a dungeon with me. There's no reason for rolling right away. It just it just does my head in. It's sitting there all the time. You know? There's no reason to. It's just a personal preference of mine. So I'm going to try and force it upon you, you know. You know how I work. Right, see, there we go. And through this door here is actually... Which will open. We'll open the door. So there's no harm in us opening the door. Down there is the boss. 
And we got the area. That treasure chest, we can go for the treasure. But it is just a, it is a mob. It's a trap. We're gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you there. There's a cage. You drop something out of it. The second you open the chest or even get near it. So the hill died there, by the way, if you didn't notice. Um, maybe I was to blame. Maybe I was to blame. Because, you know, I didn't. I didn't just. I just did. I just plain didn't. We're gonna pop these things that we added the other day. Just in case. The Druids can keep running around, which is good. Here comes the heal. I hope he doesn't get involved. He is trying to save us, bless him. He's pulled hate again. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I was hoping that he wouldn't. That he wouldn't help. He just let us die. There we go. Self destruct. Dragoon, move. Oh god. Oh Jesus. That was a close one. Me and the dragoon almost died. That was that wouldn't have been healthy at all. Uh, they're gonna go for the mobs. They are gonna go for the mobs. It's fine. It shouldn't take us much longer. Much longer anyway. But still, I think I just spawned that. That's the problem. I'm also gonna sneeze. So I'm holding my nose. That's probably why I sounded a bit different. Ugh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. It's ridiculous. <laughs> It's not 3 a.m. in the morning, don't worry, that's the Eorzean time. I think it's like 12. It's not even that late, it's just... Why the fuck did I shoot at that? What have I done? I'm so sorry. Oh god, I've destroyed the universe. Why did I do that? Oh god, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be able to uh, get through this. My little fuck up. Where's the Dragoon, by the way? I noticed that the Dragoon is not getting damaged in any way. Is he just fucked off up there? Uh. Look at this chest. Yeah, here he comes. He fucked off. I don't think he realized that we were um that we were fighting these and he just went in chilling because i opened the door a lot of this probably could be subjected as my fault for opening that door quicker than i should have well then okay now final boss time which is very good very easy Hopefully we'll get the Halatili bow. We did just get the mapping of the realm achievement, which is good. Which is always good. Now this boss is actually a nice combination of the of the previous two that we've just done. So there's always that. We're going to skip that cutscene. It's just him walking up. I don't want to keep these people waiting. Get a weapon out. Telling people we're ready. We're ready to go. Right now, Joe, this one, here we go. See, you see that? He's done this at a certain interval of time, meaning we can't go near him. We can't stand in this because we get a buff that hurts. He's now summoned these as well that we have to destroy before they reach him. Otherwise, they will hurt. The Dragoon came over and dealt with my ones instead of his own. A little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. But it's okay, it's fixable. He essentially he did nothing wrong. He just went and started killing stuff. He he was just killing the stuff that I was already killing. And that I killed faster, and I helped you with yours. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, that's very rude. I have got the ranged advantage. That was a little bit of MMO rage there slipping out. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's very rude. You shouldn't act like that at all. Because there's nothing wrong with him. I just had the ranged ability, so I had the ability to 
kill them the, the second they came out rather than hitting them. I suppose he had that ability too, but I don't know. But we're going to give that poison and start dealing with these. We deal with both of these apparently. Oh, here he comes. Good job. Good job, dude. Right, here we go. Deal with those. Now, I think for the third time, he summons them, but doesn't do the flames around him. So he's going to be walking around, so the tank still has to tank him. While we deal with the uh, little little buggers that come towards him. I don't actually remember what they're called. So, I don't know what that is. But that's probably fine. Okay, oh, wait, oh no, wait, no! See, that it did 46 damage to us. But it's doing another 44, so if we let all them go in, that would have really hurt. Luckily, we um, we got on that. Limit break, yeah, well, I'm sure the Dragoon, he's limit break twice now, so... We know he's not incompetent, he'll get round to it when he can. I'm sure. There we go. Oh, he's dead. And we're all happy about it. Oh, the Dragoon was a woman. Still. Calling it dude all the time. Um, so let's give our commendation to the heal. Because the heal did very good. Let's offer them a quick GG. See, even even that, even that is just enough to say like, good job, you did it. Our chest, what we got? Nah, the daggers, we can't even do it without the pass. We don't want them. Then we'll leave. No combination that time, but that's okay. Hopefully the heal got a bunch there, because he did a really good job. Uh oh look, a prime location. I did it. I was in the middle of doing these like little quests and stuff. Um, so I'm going to head back here and do some Grand Company leaves. Grand Company leaves are exactly the same as the other leaves except for they give us seals as a reward. So once we have 2,000 seals I will head back to Uldar and we can get our chocobo and I'll start the next episode there. How many have we got? 1,200. That's, that's not even a lot. We can do that. I can grab them next time, and then for next, well, I'll grab them now for next time where we can get our chocobo. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time where we pick out our lovely, cute, adorable chocobo.